What's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of The Strength Classroom. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about a different style of dynamic cycle you can do for both upper and lower, although it favors one more than the other, but I'll, talk, I'll touch on that when I start talking about it. So I like to call this the GPP cycle, the work capacity cycle, the cycle I hate doing, all the, all the above, you can call it that, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to get roughly 50% of your one rep max. You could go anywhere from 50 to 60%. I don't like really doing accommodating resistance when I do this cycle, just because you can, but I prefer to do straight weight. Although it won't kill you if you add bands or chains, just go very light on them, okay? And if you do, drop your percentage slightly, just slightly, like 5%. So what you're going to do, you're going to set a timer. 20 minutes, I find works best for squats. 15 minutes I find works best for bench and oddly enough, eight minutes I find works best for deadlift. But you play with the time period, okay? It's not set in stone. Just how you progress is up to you. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna set the timer to whatever you've decided. And you're gonna try and do as many doubles as you can for squats, as many triples as you can for bench, and as many singles as you can for deadlift. Just as many as you can. You rest. However little or as much as you want. But the goal is to keep track of how many sets you've done. And then the next week, you can do one of two things. You can increase the percentage and try and do as many sets as you did last week. You can keep the percentage the same and do five, three to five sets more. So as long as the workload's getting bigger, you know you're progressing. Or that's it. There's only one way to, two, two ways to progress with this cycle. If your work capacity is lacking, I highly suggest you throw in this cycle on dynamic days. Work capacity is your ability to recover, ability to get up to do another set, and this really strengthens that. You, if you're doing these as hard as you can, you will be drenched in sweat, specifically on the squats. Now, I do not suggest that you do both squat and deadlift in the same workout. You can, and I've done it before. However, if your work capacity is really bad, actually I suggest you do that because then you have to force yourself to do all your assistance work in a fatigued state. And it'll really challenge your mental toughness and your work capacity. For bench, I don't really like this method as much. And you'll see in another video what I prefer to do in place. Although you have, I've done up to 35 sets of bench using this method and I do like it a lot. Actually, I have to take that back. I do like it for bench as well. However, it's not as hard on bench. With bench, you'll notice you have more muscle soreness fatigue and in squats and deadlifts, you'll still have the muscle soreness fatigue, but your lungs will be burning depending on how bad your work capacity is. So start getting in shape. So I hope you like this video. Give this a try. That is your homework. If you do decide to try this, I want you to drop it in the comments. Let me know how it goes. Catch your breath first. So, if you like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Share the videos with your friends if you think they'll like them as well. Don't forget to do your homework. And as always, class is dismissed.